Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, Back when wow. Terry Crews came forwards about being sexually assaulted at his workplace, Gabrielle Union supported him publicly. However, comma, when Gabrielle <laughs> Union recently came out about experiencing racism in the same workplace that he works in, America's Got Talent, he was silent. And when people came to speak to him about it and confronted him on the fact that he was silent when she had stood up for him, he put out a Twitter post, not directly speaking on he Gabrielle should, or should, saying should any specific up. names. He said I something along the lines it. of, I only have to be loyal to my wife. Ooh. I didn't know all that. Shut the fuck up, nigga. No, I want to say something. I got. I, can I and, speak, Pastor? Pastor yeah. Can I? Can I say something? Yes, you can. And once I get the quote up, the Rock direct quote, I'm gonna say the direct quote, and then we'll continue. But yeah, you can start off. So my uh, my opinion on the Terry Crews situation, I feel as though that he is a hypocrite. Yeah. Um. Most he may not know it. He may be just ignorant into like the issue, but. I feel as though what he should have done was either A, stay quiet, or like just, you know, what people usually do, just like ignore the question and keep moving, or B, address the shit. Because, you know, her experience is valid as a black woman. She experienced mm-hmm. racism and sexism. He, he claimed that even though he can't attend, like he can't, like, um, he can't understand the experience of sexism because he's a man. I, but I feel as though... You can, even though you are a man, because that's any sexist type of, in itself. Yeah, it's like you you see that she's being discriminated because she's a black woman, <clears throat> and you don't want to say anything as a co part like black person that you can't see that she's being discriminated because of her hair and whatnot. Terry uh, Crews, you either you do, you being a Steve Harvey right now, as you trying to protect Mahoney. your check instead of your integrity, and I just want you to know something. We looking at you, and I had your bag. Yeah, I was we I was really for, for him. I'm like, and then, for you. Yeah. how dare you? You had it all and you blew it. So here are the statements that he put out, the direct quotes. He put out a tweet that said, Okay, journalism. <laughs> I'm a hog. You're a chicken. Just because you gave me eggs don't mean I owe you bacon. Later on, another tweet followed that said, There is only one woman on earth I have to please. Her name is Rebecca. Not my mother, my sister, my daughters, or co-workers. I will let their husbands, boyfriends, slash partners take care of them. Rebecca gave me wings. I'm not for sexual assault, but Terry, come on now. Later on, in in an interview on Third Hour of Today, he said, First of all, I can't speak for sexism because I'm not a woman, but I can't speak on behalf of any racism comments. That was never my experience. In fact, it was the most diverse place I have ever been in my 20 years of entertainment. Hey, hey, more he diversity don't, don't mean don't mean pro black. It it yeah. It, just because it's diverse doesn't mean it's free of racism. That's the first like off. That's why that's why I say that. that's why I say PWI. Okay. Okay. That's the main reason okay, why I say PWIs are horseshit when I'm they not say jump we got more diverse. One time, one time. Go crazy. Go crazy. Probably finna jump down my throat at the moment. But okay, so what he did was like like shut the specifically up. about him not backing her up. That it that was kind of that that was fucked up. Yeah, that was. But if he'd have kept definitely. silent, it would have been okay. The thing was, okay, it is true that he only has one woman to please. But the thing is, he he could have kept silent on that. Him saying yeah. that he might not have experienced racism. Sometimes people might feel like, okay, some people might think you might just be reading into a situation. You might mm-hmm. just be thinking that it's discrimination, and you might just be taking something the wrong way. Yeah, because. That's it how happens he might, sometimes. That's how that's but how he might have felt about it. Legitimately feel a certain type of way. It's probably some legitimate, like legitimate yeah. reason why yeah. you feel it's like it's like it's like hard to gauge because sometimes it's like okay, if you if you're if somebody tells you that they've experienced racism in an area that both of you work in, it's like it might be true, but then you still question yourself. It's like because you've never experienced it. Yeah. So it, it, to him, it might be like I've never experienced. So it's like whatever. But, but the whole he say he was sexually assaulted. That was a different workplace, but yeah. It doesn't. That's a different workplace. It was a different year scenario too. Yeah. Like.